Alright, I've been reading the comments and the instructions are clear, so guys, we are going to the moon. Um, Terra and Victor starts you off on Earth, and Earth is a great place. It's awesome. Uh, it's where the majority of your money and your research can come from because there happen to be billions of people here and lots of established industries. Um, there is a problem with Earth, even though it's your objective for some factions, like as the Resistance, our main goal is the defense of this uh, little blue green orb in the middle of space. Um, its problem is that it has something called Called gravity, uh, a lot of gravity to be precise, which makes lifting things off the planet really, really difficult. If you're going to fight a war in space, having to lift every single ton of material into space is kind of impractical. So what you want to do is build an economy in places that don't have nearly as much gravity or atmospheric interference and use those to build up an economy to help you resist the aliens or accomplish your goals. So one of the ways to do that is to go to other celestial bodies and establish mining operations on them that start supporting your economy. Uh, it's a lot easier to lift material off the moon, uh, which has basically no atmosphere in very light gravity, or off Mars than it is to do so off Earth. So that's what we're going to try and do. We already sent a probe to Luna last episode. What that's going to do is it's going to reveal what the actual resource yields of these various sites are, and then I'm going to show you how to potentially colonize. We have um, unlocked already the Habtech what we haven't done uh, is research the stuff that we need in order to mine into space, because I didn't know that was going to be our goal when I started this playthrough. So what I'm actually going to do is rush through arrival domestic politics and then push for the technologies that will actually allow us to mine, to be productive in space. Awesome. In the meantime, let's confirm some assignments as always. We are in the process of trying to take over Greece, even though it will be a slow passage for it back into the European Union. Um, we are airlifting our armies home. We're going to have to public campaign. Oh no, the EU is looking pretty good. The US is looking pretty good. So our popularity in our main countries is looking pretty good, but we can just top up the EU a little bit. The more popularity that you have in your nation relative to your control points both increases your influence income uh, and also decreases the rise, um, sorry, the decrease in unity. If you control the government of a nation but no one in that country agrees with you, it's going to fragment society. So that's a bit of a problem. So we're going to do a little bit we of a public campaign the there. I'm here. Tamp Ready down unrest. Orders. How's the US going for unrest? The, un the US has got less unrest than the EU, which is cool. Restoring order. Antonella. At your service. We'll just do a little bit of a top up. Let's start targeting Finland. We'll make our because they're probably our next goal for integration after we've do uh, dealt with Greece. So let's confirm assignments and resume the game. Stay loyal to the cause. I'm airlifting all of my armies back to their home bases. Armies cost uh, a lot of upkeep. They cost less to upkeep in their home provinces, so it's always good to return them afterwards. So we've got a rival domestic politics, and now what do we really need? I think, I'm just going to check the tech tree here. So what we really want is space mining and refining. For that, we need mass drivers, which I think is currently being researched, is it? No, it is not. There it is, mass drivers. So we're going to uh, rush that one out. That should be done by the 10th of November, which will then allow us to research the next tech after that. We can pull that back to the 3rd of November by pausing Alien Origin. That's what we're going to do. I just really want to push this tech out as fast as possible. Because the way in Terra and Victor you get around the, econ the economy problem, the gravity tax, so to speak, is the idea is you set up mines on other planets and then you use railgun mass drivers to launch packets of materials automatically, this is handled in the background, to where they need to be. Which means that you only use electricity, not propellant, in order to push these things. Which means the more atmosphere and gravity a planet has, the higher the energy cost of mining on it is. So even though the uh, moon doesn't have particularly good resource yields compared to some other areas, like if we were to go to, say, Mars, you can see the yields are much higher across the board, um, especially in terms of things like potentially water. And if we go to Ceres, there's a lot of water out there. Um, the energy cost of mining somewhere like the moon is obviously very low because you just give it a little bit of a kick into orbit and it's on its way. I'll have a little bit of a look around the world. Hmm. Let's have a look what's out there. All right, so we've detected some alien presence in the forest, which is good, which means we can now send someone to inspect that location. We're, their hearts and minds. We're basically playing um, XCOM files at this point, uh, the very, very early game when people Things aren't are even off. sure what's going on with the alien invasion. It's just rumors of abductions. 
We've moved the needle. We'll repeat that public campaign. Okay, Probe has arrived at Luna. Let's have a look. And let's not unpause the game, because now there's going to be a bit of a real estate rush. So, these yields are the potential daily yields of a resource if you put a mining location there. Uh, water, uh, volatile, so this is things like that can potentially be used as propellant mostly. Um, sorry, water is mostly used as propellant. Volatiles are things that are reactive. So carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, sulfur, chlorine. Basic metals, so iron, nickel. Uh, noble metals, so this is silver, gold, platinum. I think titanium and tungsten are also included in there as well. And fissile, so this is uh, uranium, thorium, plutonium potentially, basically things that are useful in uh, nuclear reactors because you're probably going to be using a lot of nuclear reactors in space because the further away you get from the sun, the less effective solar energy generation is going to be. So we're looking at these sites. There's only there's no location, it seems, on the moon that has production in every resource, but there's two that stand out to me um, if you want to get something of an economy going. Shackleton Crater has a little bit of water income and a lot of metal income. And then there's two that have very high income of fissiles and metal, which is kind of good. So I'm tempted to try and claim some of these locations uh, because once you've got production of all resources, you can start doing in-space construction. So how much does an outpost cost? 6.6 .6 boost. And remember, this is just to put the location down. It's not uh, building the associated structures. Once we unlock the mines, we're going to need enough resources to actually put the mine down as well. So I think we're going to claim two. Uh, a lot of people would be tempted to wait for Mars for better yields, but I kind of want to get mining started sooner rather than later. So we're going to found one base there and name that Moon... Actually, I'm going to code that LU Water. So this is just founding, and this will be finished on the 13th of November, because they're boosting that like that uh, equipment, that basic module, which is going to have five crew, weighs about 20 tons. We're going to lift that into orbit and put that on the moon, and that's going to get there by early November 2023. The further away you go, obviously, the longer it's going to take for your stuff to get there, to the point where if you're talking about the outer systems, potentially you might have stuff taking years, potentially, to get to location. There are other ways to found outposts other than boosting it from Earth. It can be a lot faster later on, but we don't really have access to those options at this stage of the game. So, we're going to want to build mines and power generation here, but we have no mine tech, so I'm not going to start building any other structures for the moment. But just as an example, it would take 4.9 boost to boost uh, send a power generator in the form of a solar generation module. So you can see that we're gonna be pretty tight on, um, we're gonna be pretty tight on that sort of stuff early on. Now, do I want 44 metal and 14.4 fissile, or do I want 16 fissile, but only 27 metal? I think I'm gonna grab this one. I really hope I can grab this one too, and if not, I might take it off whoever founds it later on. Uh, LU2 uh, new Fizz. Just so I know which base is which. And that's depleted a lot of our boost, but I'm going to try and build some more up. We're building 6.8 a month, which is not bad. I'm wondering if I actually go all the way and claim a third one. Even this means we're going to be behind in the race for Mars. If we can lock down a lot of this Fizzile income, the big restriction is going to be... Um, it's going to be water. We're not going to have a huge amount of water, but I kind of want to start building up a big fissile stockpile, even though the yields aren't particularly great, and I can always sell it, and it's only one month worth of boost. So Tycho Crater. So we'll call that LU3 Fizz. Cleaning Just things up for the sake of having a little bit of order in our lives. That spent a lot of our boost. We're going to try and keep an eye out for orgs and things that can continue boosting. So the next time we get to a resolution Our phase, I'll look at channel. the available orgs again, now that we're generating those new corporations. And I think we've fully taken control of Greece. We have. So we can bring... We have to wait till 2025 to bring Greece back into the EU. The alternative is, if we're willing to spend a whole bunch of influence, what we could do is we could make Greece unally 
uh, the European Union and the UK and the US and Canada and all that, we can get them to unally all those powers um, and declare war on the EU and then attack them with the EU to bring them in. So we could basically have the government of uh, Greece basically go uh, mental, say we've, we've had Grexit and now we're going to invade Brussels and then you beat them up with Brussels in order to try and bring them straight back into the EU. That's an alternative, but it's going to cost a lot of influence because we'd need to spend 10 for every ally to neutralize them. Uh, I'll think about that once these armies are back and recovered. Standing In the meantime, we'll service. investigate alien activity. We'll, recon the site. Ready for orders. we'll keep I will tell public spamming in Finland. Ready for orders. And you can see they've used defend interests in Finland now. So even with massive public opinion and influence in both of Finland's neighbours, just not in um, Norway, it's only 35% even if we spend big. So I might just keep spamming them just a little bit more. I might go talk to Exodus and see if they've got any new boost organisations for me to take because Exodus loves buying boost organisations and we will confirm assignments. Reaching out. I don't Good need to buy a non-aggression pact because I think I already up. have one. I do, so I don't need to buy that. Do you have any new organizations that I want? Doesn't look like it. That was a waste of influence, but that's okay. I just want to be on good terms with Exodus because nothing that Exodus is going to do is going to conflict with my goals, right? In some ways, you're not. You don't want to knock down all of your. You don't want to knock down all of the other organizations in the game. We've moved the needle. Because a lot of them are going to be doing stuff that's generally um, with us. that's generally aligned with what you want to do. Like a lot of the time what Humanity First is doing isn't going to particularly bother me. Whereas what uh, the servants are doing is very much likely to bother me. Okay, we've got lots of alien abduction reports all over the place. Here's we should investigate all of them. Because when you investigate them, um, not only do you fulfill your objectives, so we can see, hey, there are abductions, we don't know why they're doing them, which follows the story. Um, oh, okay, we can research alien methods, allows us to detect contacts with humans, simulate. and we finish Rather mass drivers. Other okay, so we finished mass drivers, which means we're going all out for space mining and refining, 27 December 2023. If I'd been aiming for this for the start, I probably would have it done by now, but that's okay, let's get it done, let's get some mines established, let's get a basic space economy going. Boost is building up. Mines, mine modules are very heavy. Uh, there's a lot of heavy equipment required to extract uh, water from ice caps or to mine lunar regolith. It's just it's heavy stuff, so you're going to need a lot of boost to lift it into orbit. People have asked about where the boost is distributed in the world. Boost is a rare resource at the start of the game. Basically, the biggest source in the world is Kazakhstan, so the Eurasian Union. America comes in second. Uh, the third rate powers, uh, you've got China leading the European Union at game start. I've caught up slightly, so France has almost all of the EU's boost through their little, not little, uh, they have this launch site over here um, in South America, the Centre Spatial Guionnet, which gives the European Union basically all of its launch capacity. And then you've got small powers like Israel, Iran, Japan has some boost. North Korea has a tiny amount of boost, but the point of having at least some, India has some boost, the point of having at least some is that you don't have to, you can invest, uh, invest immediately in getting more, whereas if you're a country that doesn't have a space program, you have to do this very expensive space flight program first. It's not as expensive as a nuclear weapons program, but it's pretty expensive before you can invest at all in getting boost income. So. For the purpose of the demo with a seven year timeline, I'm basically targeting countries that already have a lot of it. Um, I might even be tempted to go for Kazakhstan, even though it'll piss off the um, academy. So let's actually have a look at that. What are our coup d'etat odds? Uh, terrible in Finland because it's peaceful and everyone loves it, but decent odds if I continue spamming. If I spam a couple of attempts, I'm probably going to get a successful coup d'etat in Kazakhstan. I will so let's attempt government. that. Where to? Who's available for turning? There are some servants available for turning, but Dawn is nowhere near persuasive enough. And these guys have got high loyalty values anyway. We're going to wait for those to decline before we try to turn any councillors. 
let's continue we'll make things safe. pacifying the EU. Um, it, the EU's basically got a little bit of unrest going around because, well, it's had problems with the fact we've just rapidly integrated everyone into a federal state. Um, one thing I'm not go. doing... Where to? Where to? Why am I not Where do you need me? able... Where do you need I don't have the ops income. Ready. That's funny. I don't have the ops income necessary to uh, investigate these alien... Removing our enemies. So I might, what I might do... Ready to go. Investigating alien site. Reporting in. I'm really low on ops is basically what's going on. I'd really like to launch this coup in Kazakhstan. So I might actually contact... Yeah, let's go talk to the initiative and let's see if we can buy initiative some ops off them. Because if I can buy some ops resource, that might be a good step. The other thing is we can look at some organizations and see what we can hire. Let's have a look. So, Alderman Global, plus four administration, plus three percent economy, but it costs monthly income. None of our guys really have a lot of spare organizational capacity, so it might actually be worth getting this in order to free up a little bit of capacity. Be good to get the SAS for that income. Uh, Yamaguchi Gumi, we don't have any control points in... in uh, Japan, so we can't do that. There's two boost and one mission control on this uh, relatively expensive... That would increase our boost by like 25%. That's significant. Hong Kong triads would also be very powerful. Uh, we do have... We've got a criminal from China. So the triads... The triads might be a good idea. We've only got a monthly income of 7.1. So if I give up a little bit of um, money income... That goes five, six, seven, eight capacity. You do not have sufficient resources. What am I short on? I'm short on ops. I, I don't have enough ops to buy the organization that I want to give me ops. That's really frustrating. Um, over here, what we want to do is find someone who can equip the organization which will give us boost. So I think what I'm going to do is, as much as Templin is cool, and everyone's talked about how cool Templin is, uh, Templin's giving us a little bit of science, but it's not giving us a huge yield, and we're not actually using our investigation at the moment, so I'm going to bring that off. I'm going to equip another private space company to get our boost up to 8.8 .8 per month. Got a little bit of room. That's not worth it. That's not worth it. All right, I'm happy. But let's go buy some ops, as much ops as we can, because I'd like to get the Hong Kong triads, uh, the Guangzhou triads. I believe they'll stay loyal. Equipped to the on house. our criminal. Establishing contact. Chairman Van Wick, Von Wick. No okay. So you, you have ops. You're willing to trade away. me three. That's not enough. But I'll buy them. Um, do you have anything that gives ops, or do you just have a bunch of stuff that gives money? I wouldn't be surprised if you just have a bunch of... Yeah, you're just stacking money income, because your goal is money, and you have three times as much money as me already. Fantastic. Okay, so what can I give you for your ops that I don't care about? What if I give you ten influence? Six influence? You want inf... Oh, that's right, because you have like nine influence, so you're you're really poor at the moment, so you'll give me three for three. That's fantastic. How much money can I buy? I have no idea what I... Oh, there we are. I can sell you Play Nice Station. You'll give me 6,228 cash. You'll give me three ops. You won't sell me your boost. Is there anything I want to buy from you? Oh, I'm tempted to buy this because it's a site... It, Yeah, that because that gives enough administration to pay for itself. Anything else here? Give admin. Look, well, we buy that maybe just because we can. And I probably don't even need to give you the influence. Yeah, you're happy with that. You would give me. You would give me more. Done. So we've just let the initiative go into space, basically, which you know some people may think is a bad idea. Where is our criminal? Here she is. So we could give her the ability to hold on to Intrepid Consulting. I think more likely is let's find someone who... 
Where's our zero admin? You're not you're not government connected. Let's find someone who's government connected. Equip the org, and then you could bring in. We could bring in the SAS just for influence cost. The Hong Kong, but I want to save up for the Hong Kong triad. In the meantime, you can hold on to. You can basically hold on to all of our spare orgs. There we are. And that brings our money back up to a healthy position. Uh, let's let the keep time. Greece's economy is doing well since we took it over. Will the miracles never cease? Public opinion is moving in our And the direction. fact I'm going to need all that influence to we buy orgs is a good uh, reason for me not to spend it all trying to force Greece into the EU by declaring war on the EU just yet. Uh, let's calm the public or let it run its course. So basically, do I want to reduce cohesion? I think I'm going to let it run its course. Oh, that... When it said I thought... Recon should have complete. read it closely. When it said move two, I meant I thought that meant increase two. Instead, it's fracture, which is bloody awful. Okay. In the meantime, so I've damaged the heck out of the EU, and I'm going to have to fix it. First lunar base found it, with Earth shining behind them like a sapphire against the black sky. The astronauts begin the process of assembling the first shelters on the lunar base. This time, she says, motioning towards the Grey Service, we are here to stay. So we have founded three bases on the moon, and you can see already the Academy has founded a base in Tsiolkovsky Crater, because of course they got mission to the moon at the same time we did, they've presumably already researched outpost tech, and I expect that the other factions will be soon behind if they can get boost. We're just sort of pushing everyone out of the boost game in order to get an early lead. Humanity first has started in India, which is, I generally find that once a faction gets started in a country, they tend to complete it. The servants will be getting some boost out of Japan. North Korea has got... <laughs> Exodus has got North Korea, although it is cracked down. Interesting. Things to yeah. keep an eye on. Alright, we have nine ops. I think someone bought the triads. Bloody hell, someone someone pinched the triads. That's uh, That's awkward. So we still have some slots on the criminal. Let's add the Caledonia cartel for a little bit of ops income. I'm just going to try and keep scaling this up because clearly we need more of it. And we've got two spots free. I don't want to spend 20 months just boosting her admin. I'd rather eventually just level her admin, so let's just equip some monthly income. Ready to go. Alright, we're at no 8 reason. ops. Do I want to spend it all, or do I want to save it up for one of these guys? Like the Yamaguchi Gumi or something like that? Ooh, Kimura. Headquartered in Naples. Plus 40 money income. I mean, no one's going to judge me for being a criminal overlord. I'm saving the world, right? So let's, let's save up the ops income. We could go talk to Exodus and buy some ops or boost from them. Making contact. Acknowledged. And with all that extra influence, maybe I do bring Greece into the European Union. You know, peaceful ways by force kind of thing. So the way you'd accomplish this... ...is you just de-ally, because you can't declare um, war on someone if you have any common allies, or allies in common with them. But, you can declare war on countries that you control. So I'm just going to blow a lot of influence here. In exchange for not having to wait like six years to bring them back into the EU. So, I think I've now um, yeah. I've definitely eliminated all of Greece's allies, and I've declared a rivalry with the EU, which means my good friend here... Oh, we can steal someone's project. So someone's got a tech that we don't have. 
but that would break my non-aggression pact with Exodus, so I'm not keen. And we kind of need to start desperately fixing the EU because it's now got a small insurgency going on. Luckily, winning a war increases your national cohesion. We must persuade the people. So you know, we've got a little bit of a plan. On my way to the capital. Ready for my mission. Ready. But I really need to stabilize the heck out of the EU. I think we had a breakthrough. Okay, cool. All right, they have like nine ops that I can buy. Just know that we have other They won't sell me any boost. They don't have much of it anyway. They'll sell me two thousand five hundred and thirty-three cash. And what can I sell them? I'm not going to sell them any of my moon bases or any of these organizations. Things that I don't want. I mean, I could sell them that. I'm not sure how much money they'd give me for that. Oh, they might give me a thousand. Yeah, they'll give me a thousand for this that I'm not going to use, but more importantly, nine ops. Straight over here. I can buy Comora if I unequip one. Yeah, I'll swap this around. Why can't I buy Comora? What am I missing now? I have the money, I have the influence, I have the ops. I have a control point in the EU. I am a criminal. Insufficient administration. Oh, that's that's giving her administration. Fantastic. Okay, I'm in I'm in a bit of a problem here. All of her administration points are coming there, so I'm going to have to temporarily unequip Caledonia in order to equip the much more powerful Komora. I don't have any other criminals, do I? No, doesn't seem so. Although I can get even more persuasion on... In fact, I will. I can get even more persuasion on Antoinella. Nice short-term measure. More alien fleets arriving. Then they do seem Things to be litho-breaking. They do seem to be crashing Things into the planet. At least the small ships are. Not sure what the bigger ones are going to do. Policy direction complete. Here we are. So we'll declare war on Greece. We'll get our allies to join. So we'll deploy the French. So basically, we have taken control of the Greek government and then had the Greek government basically tell Brussels to go hang itself. They've gone and basically we've made them look like aggressors in order to justify us moving in to restore peace and security. And I'm hoping that what will happen is by doing this, we'll start to lift our cohesion back up and we'll start to bring our unrest back down while also solving our upkeep problem. When can I bring the UK in, by the way? 15 December. So after this cycle, I can order the UK to come in, which will also help improve my income. We'll turn down the heat. Ready. I'll speak with them. Standing by for orders. Hostile takeover is a mission that steals an org from someone else, but again, I don't want to get Exodus on my bad side. I will try to sway the public. Your orders. Standing by. Ready for my mission. So we have one side that we're investigating, that's fine. Let's send him to investigate and let's have him instead Ready. stabilize. And then we'll see if we can do we'll the coup soon. I believe they'll stay loyal to the cause. Because Kazakhstan's now all the way up to insurrection. I don't know what's going on there, but uh, they're not having a good time of it. Almost there on space mining and refining. Twenty-two Bobby boost in the bank. Is increasingly with us. Order is returning. Stabilizing Violence the EU back down. So we're sort of fixing my mistake on that event. So we've deployed two divisions of the American army and we've deployed uh, two units from the EU, which is basically the UK and the French. And together they should be able to occupy the nation. Fra um, Greece has rough terrain, which makes it a little bit harder, but 
it should be okay. Standing by. We'll send Dawn Headed to there investigate now. there. What is Benedetto's odds on a coup d'etat? They're really good. Time for a change. Reporting in. We'll restore peace to this nation. What's the up? Reporting in. Setting national policy Standing for the UK. And you know what? Just for good measure, Making we'll public campaign peace. Kazakhstan. So basically we sent the US Marines to Greece to help out. Because of course America believes Sisters in no causes brothers. more than fostering America uh, European federal unity. Don't know what I want next. Arrival sociology could be useful, magnetic force unit, all of these could be useful. Principles of space warfare could be useful because people want me to show off ships. I'm going to go advanced carbon manipulation, but I'm not going to put particularly much into it. In fact, I'm going to cut all of that in order to finish space mining and refining in four days. And to dominate that technology so hard that I get the um, project, the engineering project associated with it quickly. Fantastic. So coup d'etats, coup d'etats. Um, coups and revolutions are the two ways to break into a nation that has its control points taken. Um, so we've staged a military coup. Military coup, at the very least, clears the control points, sets them back to neutral. Um, they're easier in countries that don't have enough spoils. They're easier in countries that have um, high values of unrest and insurgency and low values of popular support. Basically, it was a perfect storm, which is the reason why that was possible. They're very, very hard in large, cohesive countries. So, for example, China, with its uh, zero unrest, its hegemonic cohesion, basically impossible to coup. Anyway, so that brings us into Kazakhstan. Um, Kazakhstan is now outside of the Eurasian Union, which means that we can basically go in and declare war on it as Russia and absorb send it. send up a bunch of diggers and hope for the best. Even dirt doesn't behave the same way up there. One might as well build a house upon a and as the, of And the text blurbs are pretty good They're in this game. The text blurbs as a rule are pretty good. And this points out the tomorrow. obvious problem. Hauling stuff up... Um, hauling stuff up from Earth is just not viable if you want to industrialize space. You need to mine resources in space, otherwise you're not going to get anywhere. We could go straight to industrialization of space, which is a very expensive tech, which unlocks the ability to build um, construction modules so that you, even though you get resources from other planets, this then lets you build new structures in situ. It's very expensive, but I'm actually tempted because people want to see that sort of stuff, I think. They want to see industrialization. So even though I'm not going to put everything into it, um, I'll do that. I'll finish it by 26 December 2024, which might put me in a decent, in a decent position, Mission but I'm going to have complete. to... Did I set policy for... Yes, I did, so I can do this. So... Um, in light of the alien invasion, the UK has decided not just to rejoin the European Union, but also to join a European federal state. Uh, what could go wrong? Uh, this brings the EU, and this is a good moment, the EU now has a larger GDP than the United States. Um, yes, it's got an unrest problem. Yes, it's got a bit of a social fracturing problem that I'm working on. This goes down whenever you unify a new nation in, so the UK is taking the EU to fracture, but we can bring this back up. Um, I'm probably going to go to 11% unity in order to make that possible. Expand welfare a little bit. We can let the economy contract a little bit for a moment just to bring this back up. And we can now research outpost mining, which we are going to do with everything we have. This is a very cheap technology, which means we can have it done by the 6th of January. We're now in year two of the demo, by the way. The demo uh, started in October, Here's so we have we gone found. to December of the following year. And I think we're in a pretty good place. Greece looks like it's falling. Time for Kazakhstan, me thinks. The two Russian armies that I control should be good enough. We 
what I'm probably going to need to do is control the second point of Kazakhstan in order to strip its allies away. That should be simple Your enough. Orders. We'll get Dawn to do it. No, we won't. We'll get Ready someone who orders. doesn't have reduced your descent orders. to do it. At your service. Reporting in. I'm here. I'll make sure they're on our side. Standing by for orders. Finland does look like it's going to be a bit of a tough nut to crack, unfortunately. Uh, well, but Kazakhstan will be a big boost to us. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? I'm going to surveil... I'm going to surveil India to see, because Humanity First is up to two over there. Let's have a look at what they're I doing. Get through to them. Surveying target area. Okay. Well, that's not great, but it is what it is. Alright, we have taken Greece. That is good. And we have finished Outpost Mining Complex. This is great. So, let's research alien methods. November 2024. I can deal with November 2024, although I'll try and push the research even faster. So let's go talk about mining. So we have these locations on Luna. So far it's us and the Academy who have bases. The way you build mines, pretty simple. Now that we've unlocked outpost mining complexes, you can see for 41 boost, we can lift a mine into orbit and it will then produce, based on the resources that are site, um, a certain number of resources per month. Um, in order to build these things, we're going to need a little bit of every resource that isn't fissiles. So this one mine won't give us enough resources to build more mines itself, unfortunately, because we won't have uh, income of noble metals. We'll have to still lift that from planet, but that's okay. So as soon as we get to 41 boosts, we should send the mine up. We're actually going to need about 50 because we need to send the power generator. Then we'll need another 50 to send the second mining complex up. And then we'll have the basics of a space economy Mission going, just with very low rates of production. And you can see we now have negative incomes on these, which means we're having to spend boost every month and money to send resources from Earth to maintain those locations because we don't have any production up there. Um, it's an issue between the Baltic states. War would break out between the Baltic states, but it nurse, uh, reduces GDP on both sides. However, what that would allow us to do is do it without actually declaring war on humanity first or bringing in all these alliances. We could stoke the fires of nationalism, which again nerfs our GDP. I mean, I kind of want the Baltic states because they allow you to do a really cool exploit. Uh, not exploit, but you can do some cool shenanigans involving Russia and the European Union but it's going to cost me 2% of Russia's GDP, which is about 6 billion. I wish I could pre go behind this and make sure I was allied. Let's let's see what this does. Violence is abating. And let's it's ally Russia with the United States and the European Union. Nothing could go wrong. Um, now this means that I think we go take the Baltics first. And we're not technically at war. We're not going to be at war with the Baltic because it's a limited war which doesn't bring in allies. Those only happen by events. But we can send the European and American militaries into Russia and out their ally to help with the Russian we're invasion of Kazakhstan. Over. I know it's a, it's a bit confusing. What we'll do here is we will uh, unally. We will have basically Kazakhstan tell Russia to go f itself, and we will remove all of Kazakhstan's allies. 
yeah, the, the government is going aggro, they are Kazakh supremacists or whatever, they are basically telling everyone else they suck, um, and we will use that as the Cassus Belli to move in. We'll restore peace to this nation. The European Union's getting peaceful again, however, it is pretty damn fractured. That's its only weakness. Other than that, the economy is expanding, research income is very high, much outpaced in the US, boost is, is increasing. I might even decrease boost and MC a little bit. The US can make up the slack. As the US is steadily improving, I just want to get that deploy that democracy just up to 8.0, but knowledge should be improving that slowly. Let's withdraw the American units from Korea because we might need them. We'll turn down the heat. Standing by. Acknowledged. I'm here. Benedetto didn't discover anything, so maybe I start. Un I think I might start increasing in unrest in Finland to make it an easier nut to crack. By. Your orders. And I'm going to try and make basically Where everyone in Europe me? love me to try and help with this cohesion number. I think we had a breakthrough. Okay, so the Russian army that we control is there. What we're going to do is we're going to deploy them to Riga in the Baltic States. We're going to bring the Baltic We've States into Benito. Russia. And then, Things well, hold on. If you're, if you're one of my uh, people, people watching from the Baltic States, just bear with me for a moment. Your fate is not to be permanently in Russia. That's not the plan. Having uncovered evidence of livestock abductions, aliens are observing us long enough to understand Earth's biological social hierarchies, they've worked their way up the food chains. We can now paint a clear picture of their methodology. So originally they were taking animals, human abductions within 14 days of the crash, disproportionate number of individuals with high socioeconomic status, police chiefs, business owners, local legislators have come to Earth with a plan of establishing influence. So, they're basically, they're kidnapping or they're abducting really influential people, and then those influential people are just reappearing suddenly and resuming their lives. What could possibly be up with that? What do I want here? I'm going to go institutional outreach, but I'm also not really going to prioritize it much, and I'm going to pull I might even pull industrialization of space back to September by putting everything that I've got into it to speed up that uh, movement in space. Okay, so we're now occupying the Baltic states with the entire Russian army. NATO is okay with this because uh, it's apparently a, it was a limited war and escalated. I don't know. Um, that event maybe shouldn't be able to bypass alliances, I'm not sure. That's an opinion for the developers. I don't think any event should be able to bypass alliance chains, but then it might be a little unfair if you got an event that forced you into a war with like a massively more powerful alliance and you're like, I will do everything possible to not do that. Interesting point. We're going to pacify we'll the United States. Standing by. We're going to motivate Leonardo here. I'll At some point we should start loyal. investigating um, our counsellors in order to determine how loyal they actually are, but for the moment I'm just boosting them. Uh, let's set national policy in Russia I because what we will do is we will declare war on Kazakhstan and we will use the Western armies in order to bring Kazakhstan into Russia. We'll the lower subversion in Russia. Your orders. Public opinion in uh, we'll make Europe is starting to look good, but I'm still very much worried about this fracture. And I'm not sure about this increasing unrest process, because they seem to be pretty on lowering that unrest very quickly. They've got large-scale military investments and lots of unity investment. Public sentiment is increasingly with us. Violence is abating. Russia's Things starting to be pacified. Off. Fantastic. Relatives say that they are behaving strangely. Okay, so people who have been abducted are reappearing, and they're saying, actually, aliens are awesome. We should cooperate with them. That's not suspicious. Direction complete. 
Russia is asking its allies in Europe and the United States to join the war, and of course they do, for the noble cause of liberating Kazakhstan from ourselves. But of course, society doesn't know that. Alright, so, the Baltic states are now occupied by Russia. Stick with me. I have a plan here. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of a dance here. The first thing that we are going to do with Benedetto... Set national policy in help. Europe. Your orders. Leonardo can go investigate What's alien activity. Acknowledged. Dawn continues stabilizing Russia. Restoring order. Antonella. Ready to go. We've got. We're finally starting to bring this number up. Okay. We we will bring Europe back to the brink. We will pay for the fact that I made a mistake in that event. I Let's just make America fanatically pro us. Quick look at the world. No one's in China yet. Looks like the servants have taken over Myanmar, Japan, Taiwan is heavily contested, South Korea is being taken away from the academy because of that event that destroyed all their support, the servants have full control over Australia, um, and are spending a lot of its money on military tech- they're okay, they're building armies, in fact Australia almost has an army finished and soon will have one, they're also spending big on a space flight program. Interesting. Saudi Arabia, okay. And I think the servants, yeah, the servants are in Turkey. They're, they'll take this one, then they'll have full control over Turkey. How are we doing on control point limit? We're over, but not horrendously over. Their loyalty remains questionable. I'm not sure how we explain this one to the uh, European and American public, but I'm assuming that we could put together a good narrative as to why the Americans are fighting to bring Kazakhstan lives. into Russia, but also Russia is now a Mission close complete. ally. Okay, so Federation. Oh, okay. Just wait on that. Just stick with me for a bit. I have a plan, but I think I need to change one thing before that happens. We have found something. Okay, so we've investigated the returned abductees. So a diplomat was kidnapped, 36 hours later he came back. And he was now suddenly very, very interested in the political ties of his mother. So a son of a senior diplomat, okay. So he's going to a derelict. He's putting. He's doing dead drops. Okay. So it's pretty obvious what they're doing here. They're kidnapping people who are close to people in positions of influence, or people they can get away with kidnapping who are in positions of influence, and somehow they're popping back up again with a really positive opinion of the aliens. That's that's a thing. We can level up some of our counselors. Let's grab elder statesman's really powerful. Elder Statesman's really powerful. Media Darling is plus three. That's another persuasion. But it's very expensive. I think it's better just to take an extra admin point. We'll come through and do orgs once we've uh, once we've sorted everyone. I'm just going to add more administration to everyone because I love orgs. Basically, everyone in my... Uh, my council is going to be an amazing corporate manager in addition to everything else. So what have we got here? A bunch of space mining output, including one that costs a heck of a lot of boost. So he's not government, so there's not much that he can actually manage. Let's wait to see if he has to manage stuff for other people. So let's start with our criminal organization, who has one free. What's this? It's a pretty shitty criminal organization. This would give her assassinate, which she already has, and one ops income that's not very powerful. It's probably better just to have Athena interactive. I could have the golf cartels instead, which are better in terms of money, but she's missing one admin slot. That's unfortunate. Do I want the Concord cartel just for the one extra monthly ops income? I'll hold on to it and get rid of it later if I have to. So our government individuals, okay, so they've got more admin. Let's unequip that to give a little bit of room. 
actually know what am I looking for here Federal Protective Service DARPA is very expensive but could be cool that's a lot of research bonus there it's just very expensive to run German Foreign Intelligence is there um, National Security Agency is incredibly expensive First Special Forces Group these are all people I'm associating more with my um, my rebel, my high command individual is where I want a lot of this to be but he can't have government organizations so he's kind of limited in that respect he can hold on to this corporate for the moment do I want the 7% space mining bonus perhaps oh no I want US First Special Forces group because look at that that's they almost double that's increased by like 40% my ops income because now I've got I've compromised US uh, special forces. Fantastic. We got two all capacity over here. I'm liking this 7% mining bonus. And that'll be it for the moment. Awesome. Benedetto. So, we have a couple of options here, but I think we have to wait for Kazakhstan to fall first. And then my question is what remains in the Eurasian Union? Uzbekistan, Tuzmekistan, Tajikistan, Kyrgyzstan aren't. So I think it's just Belarus that's left in the Eurasian Union. Standing by. So hold that thought. We'll make things safe. Acknowledged. I will tell our story. We're almost at like 100% public support, mission. which is like unrealistic to maintain, mission. but I'm still kind of happy with continuing to move forward there. Chance for a coup in Belarus is very low. In fact, the coup chances in most places are basically downright terrible. I'm going to surveil Japan again. I'd like to catch some servant counselors. Acknowledged. Reporting in. America is going gangbusters. Peace to this nation. Still a little bit of a problem with sectarianism. We've got 9% unity going. I might have to dial that up just a little bit. Let's see if we can get uh, America sort of on the same page. I believe they'll stay loyal to the cause. Eyes up. Can now undertake the alien operations research. That's cool. Alright, so Kazakhstan is now brought into the Eurasian Union. That is a good thing. Now, I don't think Things Russia... What I want to do Our here is I want unheard. to try and get Russia into the, the European Union for the lols, but I'm not sure that's going to happen. We'll increase Bulgaria's tech level, sure. Instead, what I might do is I might hand the Baltic states off to the European Union. That way they're not in Russia. We're getting the full benefit from them rather than half benefits from them. We can always move them back over if we want to use them as a way to bring Russia into the European Union, but as long as Russia is in its own union, that's a bit of a problem. Uh, we'll work. We'll spend all that stuff to avoid bad stuff happening. That's okay. And we have 51 boost. I think we're going to need about 60. But let's check. Sorry, I misclicked there. Okay. So, outpost mining complex for 41. What's this going to cost? 4.9. So, we can send this up. So, we can start mining. It'd be giving us a very small metal uh, and water income, but it's something. Okay, that's almost all of our boost gone again. And we're going to have to repeat that process for the other one in order for this to be worthwhile. That mine will be finished on the 20th, 20th of April 2024. That's pretty soon. Again, this is the benefit of the moon being close. Um, eventually people are going to finish mission to Mars. I'm really not giving them research because I want that to happen slowly. We'll send a probe there and then you'll see it takes much, much longer to send Reporting stuff to you. Mars. Even though the yields are much better, um, the boost costs are a little bit higher, but most importantly for a seven-year demo, the time is 
the time Ready. is a problem. Stabilize. Investigate Righteous alien ops. activity. And as you can see, I'm out of ops again. Looks what looks look at what I am always short on. After this turn, what I'll do is I might um, set national policy in Russia in order to get the Baltics back into Europe, because I know the Baltics are probably, you know, not, not thrilled with their current situation. Public opinion is moving in our direction. And we'll start shipping the armies of Europe back to, you know, Europe. Violence is abating. Things are and then I want to see if I can pinch off... While I'm doing all this big picture stuff, I kind of want to start pinching off the remaining European Union countries and thinking about where my next play is. You can see that Brazil, which is a big power, is now under uh, contested humanity first control. Argentina is a mess, but the servants have the executive. Australia, Japan don't look like they've changed much. China is still nothing. Humanity first now has three out of the four in India, so HF is definitely making progress. India would be a big one for them. Humanity First has a particularly uh, open attitude to the employment of nuclear weapons, as do the servants, so them having access to a nuclear arsenal is always interesting. I will talk about nukes at some point, because uh, nukes in this game are interesting. Okay, Turkey is withdrawing from its, ally, its alliance with Canada. Let's see if they remove their alliance with the others. Uh, Turkey doesn't have EU claims on it at the start of the game, so you can't just bring it into the EU. You need a tech called Europa Ascendant in order to have a uh, claim for the EU on Turkey. So I can't just invade Turkey and bring it into the European Union. It might be worth invading Turkey at some point just to throw the servants' government out, but that would then leave me in a position where I've got... Um, what you call it? I've got um, even, I'm even more over my upkeep limit. So what I'll do is I will Where to? set national policy in Russia and let's get the Baltics transferred All over. Way to the capital. Antoinella, who's available orders. to talk with the servants. I really don't, I really don't want to talk with the servants. Um, um, I don't. Bulgaria is also a holdout, as is Portugal. I don't like the protectorate as a general rule, but I don't see a reason to start shit over just Portugal. Looks like North Africa is basically academy town, as is Saudi Arabia. Okay, so the academy, you can see this band of countries, they've gone with sort of like a North Africa, Arabia strategy, a lot of resource nodes, so a lot of oil income, good on them. I'm just going to bump Europe we up because Exodus is trying to get people. involved and I don't want them to. I'm going to need all the popularity I can in order to support I getting the cohesion back up. Didn't have any oh, great. I did even more damage to cohesion. Fantastic. That's not what I wanted. Policy direction complete. So if we cede territory to the European Union... There we are. So now the Baltic states are in the European Union, getting that GDP up to 24 bill. Our only problem is this cohesion. Aliens have built a new base on Triton. So it looks like they've, just, they've put an outpost core, a fusion pile, and an assembler, so some sort of construction module. This is Triton. It is a moon of Neptune. It has a lot of really good resource sites, and unfortunately, it is incredibly far away. So originally, the aliens were setting up right out here in the Cooper Belt. Now they've moved into Neptune, which is, while still very, very far away, like close to Pluto's orbit, um, much closer than their previous location, which is out here. And what that might do is it might reduce the travel time for any ships that they construct. So I don't like it. Plus, of course, if they're mining more locations, they might have more Wrapping resource up, yeah. income. Aliens are building a station around Triton. Of course they are. Canada has joined the list of spacefaring nations. That's because I had boost in mission control here. Well, that's okay. I don't need any mission control in Canada, though. What I need from Canada is funding, because Canada doesn't have any real problems with it. 
Um, what I need is funding, I think. And the United States, once that uh, cohesion's up, I'm going to take a little bit of money out of Unity and a few other things, and I'm going to try and start doing military Ready tech updates. So, what do I want to do next? I don't want to invade Uzbekistan or Turkmenistan. That's an option that's available to me, but again, it's pissing off the Protectorate. I'll return these armies to their home bases for the moment, but I'm tempted by this idea of potentially invading Turkey. Nah, it's just not going to happen, is it? Not going to happen. Ah, well, unfortunately the AI is sometimes good at managing its countries, and when they are, there's not much you can do about it. Let's see if we can catch anyone trying to play in I our backyard. They'll stay loyal to the cause. I'll do one more watch. inspiration on them, and then change the character. What I really want to do before I close out this episode is get the mining base up and show how that works. We should have enough uh, income by mid-2024 to launch Things a second line, and then we're going to start saving for Mars. Okay, so that's finished. So we've got power generation, what we don't have is a mining module. We'll be ready for new orders soon. Ready for orders. So you can see, while the game starts on Earth and was originally about scrambling between I nations, we we're in 2024, um, and yes, I am power gaming, yes, I am deliberately accelerating as fast as possible, but by 2024, we're already taking our first steps into space. Um, and as you can imagine, this game runs for decades, there's a big solar the system out there. Your first side. steps to the moon are kind of like, Violence you know, they are baby's abating. first steps. Violence is abating. I'm wondering if I want need to crank this unity up even further. Just to solve that problem. It takes so very little for one tribe of humanity to look upon a second tribe as the other. Think well, of there what you will go. happen. Mission once to Mars has been researched. So and they're doing Ad Astra next, which is a technology which unlocks a whole bunch of uh, space-focused stuff, because it's basically about humanity sitting down and thinking, well, like, okay, our attitude to space has to change. So we can launch a prospector probe. I research double-speed probes, basically. So my probe, which is pretty fast, in fact, it's twice as fast by, as default, will get to Mars in 197 days. So it will get there in 2024, and until you prospect, you can't found bases. But you can see Mars has potentially... If you look at just the estimates, some sites that might give us good water income or things like that. The other one that might be interesting, and I'm not sure if we can get to it in time, um, is mission to asteroids, because asteroids include Ceres, and for those of you who have seen The Expanse, you know that Ceres has a lot of water on it and has the potential to be a major source of um, water, which is a propellant, it's life support, water is oxygen, it is a hugely important resource in space. Finland has dealt with all of the unrest that it had. None of these are in particularly unresty shape. Basically what I'm saying is this rebel doesn't have much to do at the moment. Does he have a salt space asset? He does. But he needs marines to do that, and we are a long way away from having marines. You know what, I'm just going to annoy Finland just we anyway, just down. in case we manage to break into it, because I would like I to. I believe they'll stay loyal to the cause. But please, when you get your hands on this demo, do not feel like you need to get your way in. You, need, you do not need to be mining in space by 21 May 2024. That said, there are definitely players out there I know who will do it faster, because if you set your goal from the start, you'll get there. So here we are. We've got an outpost mining complex. Fantastic. So we now have positive income. We have 15.8 uh, water income per month, 
um, and we've got a net positive income on volatiles and a net positive income on base metals. So there is now a small mine with a small crew on uh, Luna, which are mining these resources, they're digging up ice and processing and whatnot, and they're using uh, rail guns to launch these to whatever construction site uh, around the solar system you need and because the game presumes you make all your decisions in advance to save you doing the boring logistics management it assumes that the resources are being sent in advance to the places that you will need them that it sort of takes your future decisions for granted which is a good thing what this will do is it means that when I look at having to construct locations elsewhere fewer resources have to be boosted from Earth and eventually I'm going to have the option to just build stuff using space resources which spares me a lot of the boost which starts taking the pressure off all these poor Soyuz rockets that I am launching complete. presumably like 10 a month or something at this point just to keep my space economy expanding the rate it is once we hit 40 boost income again we're going to launch our second mine which should be in Two months. Public sentiment is increasingly with us. Order is returning. Your pricing is on the way. I should just hit repeat there. Xenoforms. We've detected what appear to be alien microbes and plants in the Monterey region of Mexico. They are thriving and threaten to displace the native biota, which strangely do not seem to be resisting their advances to the degree we'd expect. A direct application of force, either via a counselor mission or army operation, should reduce or eliminate the spread. So basically, alien life forms, fauna as, and flora, have been introduced into our um, ecosystem and are starting to take over. Interesting. And we're now able to research the alien flora, which we will do, but right now I'm just focused really squarely on industrialization of space. Then I'll start doing the story stuff again. Because again, I'd like to see how far into space I can get in the first seven years. <clears throat> All the US military is arriving back home until we need it again. Fantastic. So what we can do... Ah, Finland has ended its relationship with Canada. That's okay. Unfortunately, it's still in the European Union. Lame. Australia has ended its alliance. We could also invade Australia. I feel kind of obliged. Would it put me horribly over my limit? Yes. Would it probably knock me from in conflict to at war with the servants? Also, yes. Is it a good strategic decision? Probably not. Do I want to anyway in order to liberate Australia? Yeah, kind of. It would make more sense, I think, to liberate Turkey. Uh, I'll leave that question open for the next session because I'm going to be finishing this one relatively soon. Um, what you can do is I can use my reporting in high command character to basically go lead a commando team and coordinate a local response to start trying to purge that uh, Xeno forming because I would like to keep that under control. I'll also order. increase order over what there, and Ready I will surveil go. Mexico, Eyes up. because I presume xenoforming does not just cause itself. I'll speak with them. Setting a watch. I think we had a breakthrough. Good, 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 good. I'm liking what I'm seeing. We'll airlift the rest of these units home, which means well, in about 45 days they'll be back home, direction. and then we can consider where we send them next. Um, I think it's going to be Australia or Turkey. We're very close, as I said, to our control point limit, but that is what it is. I don't like the idea that my, my homeland is under alien lover control. I mean... I might let them finish this army for... Oh, actually, that's a point. I kind of want to get there before they finish this army. Because if I get there before that... That's going to be really close. Because if I get there before that, I can inherit their investment priorities. I think what I'm going to do, this is a good way to end the session, uh, let's end the alliance with Australia, let's declare a rivalry on Australia as the United States, Ready for orders. Sending by for let's orders. continue 
Oh, I don't. Yeah, let's hunt their xenoforms. Heading to the LZ. I'm here. Let's investigate the alien activity there. On the way and to let's the set national site. policy in the United States to, to declare war on Australia. I believe they'll stay loyal. We've got to liberate us. it. Oh man, there's xeno forming popping up all over the states. Now you can attack that with military units. Um, to beat it back temporarily, but they'll never discover the root cause of the problem, which means you, the outbreak will always come Things back. The off. only way to permanently defeat um, Xenoforming in a region is to use counselors. Mission complete. All right, guys, let's go to war with Australia. So, deploy the Marines. They'll get there in 28 days. I have a unfortunate feeling that uh, they might finish their army first. But you know, it is what it is. Second Marines. And you know what, just because to make sure that everyone understands that it's a family affair. First Division of the UK military. We'll send the, we'll send the POMs as well. <clears throat> Target destroyed. And then as soon as that's done, I'll wind this one up. Recon complete. At your service. We're getting close like to the, the boost up. for that second mine as well, which I'm feeling good about. So we'll send him into the United States to start Give hunting up. down Xeno filming sources there. Where to? Investigate aliens. And yeah. We'll restore peace to this nation. Standing by. Where to? I'll make sure they're on our side. Ready. I think we had a breakthrough. Yeah, the, unfortunately the Australians have finished an army, so there will be a fight when we get there. That's unfortunate. My little friend, we have learned a small alien life form has been kept as a pet. A child in Denver has befriended a small, adorable alien creature. Kept it hidden. Doesn't appear to present an obvious threat. Huh. Okay. So we can let it remain, which gives us public opinion. We can seize it for study, which gives us science and causes us to lose public opinion. Uh, we can lose public opinion terminate it and that fights the spread of xenoforming i'm going to seize it things are cooling off we'll win the public that opinion back but i'm not going to leave side. the alien creature with the kid because if it turns later on into some sort of alien t-rex and eats her i imagine it's going to look pretty bad israel has declared war on australia in support of the united states so one for the good guys we have found something I know you found something, that's why I sent you. Very bummed. Getting an extra Australian army would have been really nifty. We could have stolen all the servants' investment in that, but alas, you know, you don't always get what you want. Let's target this one, because it's still pretty early, uh, so there's a chance that we'll stamp it out. We'll make things safe. Try and stabilize Mexico. I'm here. And win back public What's opinion the in the United States. We'll make things safe. I don't think I changed their mind. So the armies have almost arrived in Sydney. Order is returning. We've moved the needle. Violence is abating. Mexico is becoming a better place. Target still in one piece. So we're doing well because we've got significant technology and numbers advantage. So this shouldn't be too much of a problem. Your orders. Are you really playing a grand strategy title before you have I invaded your homeland in order to pass. free it from alien lovers? Okay, that army of Australia has been destroyed. That is a genuine tragedy. I 
Okay, residents of a town in Dallas are claiming that alien infiltrators are stalking the streets, so once again we are going to round the whole place up. Violence is abating. Because I really don't want to mess mind. around. Things are stabilizing. Okay, we have 48. So let's target this location here, which has a whole bunch of fissiles and a bunch of base metals too. Let's lift a... Okay, we can significantly reduce our boost cost because we can use the resources that we've been accumulating in space and they're already on the moon. That's fantastic. So the only thing we actually have to lift up there is this 0 0.13 rare metals. That's fantastic. So that's going to cut our boost cost down considerably and mean that when we go to the moon, we're in better shape. So let's actually, I just didn't realize that we had accumulated that many resources that quickly. Let's spend a lot of our resources, but not much boost, lifting all that into place. You can see also the servants have set up a base, Humanity First has set up a base, Protectorate has set up a base. Um, the only ones that haven't set up is Copernicus Crater, which we could go to if we wanted more base metal income. But now I'm kind of wanting to save up for um, I'm kind of wanting to save up for Mars. But it wouldn't be that expensive. It wouldn't be that expensive to set up at Copernicus Crater. Those just aren't very good yields, though. Yeah, no, I'm 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 happy with those three bases on the moon. Hopefully some friendly factions set up bases there as well and get their incomes running. People ask in the comments, is the AI in this game good? I've noticed that the human AI on normal difficulty are perfectly capable of doing everything that they need to do. They're not as good as a very good human player. Um, they're not even as good as me, but, you know, they're pretty decent. They're capable of doing what they need to do. I should come through and check all these as well. I think Hong Kong Triads is now available again, and to be honest, they seem much better than Kimura. So if I unequip this, I can purchase the Hong Kong Triads, which is good. I've also noticed that there's a bunch of really good criminal organizations here as well, which we can continue stacking up. But we don't have the we don't have what we need just yet, so we'll just re-equip this cartel. Uh, pay no attention to the moral makeup of the organizations that I have joining me here. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Administration. What's this boost? 0.4 monthly income boost. That's got potential. It's got a lot of potential. That might help getting to Mars. Nothing promising here yet. I'll just temporarily equip this plus influence, although we're doing really well on influence now, which makes me feel a little bit better about going over the cap and bringing Australia in. That's fine. Cool. Probe should get to Mars relatively soon. Wait. We've got the Xeno forming in America under control for the moment. Is it worth trying to talk to anyone? The other option is to start sending some stations up into uh, LEO. So when does my probe get to Mars? I'm going to try and figure out if I can afford to spend some boost sending some stations into orbit. Uh, 27 November. What I might do is found to, uh, let's start with one LEO station, LEO1. I like to name them after their orbits. Let's give this thing two solar collectors. Spend some more of our resources. But not too bad. 1.8 income per month. I should probably 
ease up a little bit on the volatiles expenditure. And then what do I want? Do I want Xenology Labs? I think I want Xenology Labs. And I'll spend the boost on these because I want to start being able to detect aliens. And every Xenology Lab you have in low Earth orbit gives you a plus one bonus, which is pretty significant to alien detection. So I kind of want to do that. Hunkering down. Their loyalty remains questionable. Going silent. Should also defend interests in Russia again and the European Union, just to be careful. There we are. Regime change in Australia. The United States has put in place a new governing authority. Peru Utopia government is in effect. Uh, we're going to have to change this public opinion, but, um, you know, it's fine for the moment. So let's airlift everyone home. Good job. Country liberated. So that will make our... Put a little Things bit of pressure on our blessing. influence income, but our influence income is doing just fine. Opinion is moving in our direction. And it will give us a little oh, more science, a little more money. Plus, it means Australia is free. Love it. And then I think I'm going to cut this soon. Um, I'm saving up a whole bunch of boosts now because once uh, once we get to Mars, we're going to want to lift a whole bunch of stuff to Mars. Um, it's a potentially a very major mining location. We're probably going to want to increase our investment in mission control so we can set up more stations and sites. Uh, there are aliens heading towards Earth. We're learning a little bit more about what they have planned. I mean, there's a destroyer just sitting in low Earth orbit that we can't do anything about. Um, we don't have any shipyards or anything yet, although I now have enough boosts that I can probably boost one into LEO2 if we want to get a shipyard up there. But the sort of ships that we can build at this stage of the game are pretty trash. That's my objective for the next episode, though. This is the basics of how to set up a base on a foreign um, body. We now have a little bit of income. Soon we will have incomes of fizzle materials and noble metals as well, so we'll be producing all the types of resources that we need and we'll be doing it in space, which is obviously a great step forward. Um, but for the mo and which will also relieve our pressure on our boost, but we're still going to have to lift a whole bunch of stuff uh, to Mars, which will cost some boost. We're going to claim as many locations as we can on Mars, I think, and then it's a question of going to Ceres for uh, water. You need a lot of water, and there's a lot more water on Ceres than there is on Mars or Luna. But if we can, if we see a good Mars site and there's enough water there to get by, we'll go for it. And if we ever have too many sites, what we can do is we can sell mines that we have to other factions that we like, uh, who we might want to be allies with. So I have no problem with Exodus, for example. We could sell them some sites, boost their economy, free up our mission control to go from there. In terms of Earth, we'll do a quick stock take before I cut the episode. Um, China is still empty. Humanity First is now in control of India, which means that Japan is now the servant's headquarters. If we look at the factions in general, in terms of their resources, it looks like the initiative is by far the wealthiest. They have even more income than me and more money saved than me, but they don't have much influence. Um, I'm doing really well on incomes of boost and ops compared to everyone else. Um, Exodus has no ops income. Exodus looks like they're struggling a little bit in general, although they have the second highest boost income in the game. That's not surprising. That's what Exodus goes for. Everyone's kind of lagging a little bit on the science income compared to me, but that's okay because for them, I'm dumping all my research into global techs, which they get for free anyway. So they kind of get to freeload. They can spend all their research on their engineering projects, and often the AI will sort of do that um, and freeload with the research I'm doing. But I'm doing this because I need to push towards techs in order to do cool stuff in the demo. As soon as industrialization of space finishes, which will finish two days into next episode, I'll do the project for construction modules. We'll send one of those out to Mars um, and the fun times can flow from there. Thank you as always for watching. Hope you're enjoying this. See you all again soon.